So now we need to look at adding assignments to our posts. So to open up one of the posts for editing, just find the one that we want and then we're going to use the little arrow button to open it up. So this is the content that we already put in there. And at the bottom we've got the option for an assignment. And all we've got to do is drag that slider over so that it says on. Now we can type whatever we want in here as a little instruction. But the most important thing is to know how to attach materials to it. And there's a few options here. We can add from the computer, enter an iTunes store link or enter a web link directly from within the post, just like we did earlier in My Materials. Or, because we've already put them in your materials, I can go and select Choose from My Materials, and I've already got those ones there for me to put in. I want this Rationalising SIRDS worksheet that I put in there earlier, so I just select it with the plus button. My little description will be complete the Rationalising SIRDS worksheet. There's another option here that is the due date and this only appears if you're running an in-session course. So uh, let's say I want it completing by 29th and I can now just save that. I can also add more assignments if I'd like within the same post using the plus button at the end. So let's have a look at just attaching a material from within a post. I'm going to add from my computer. This time I'm going to add a video. I'm going to add the, an outline video here. So I choose that. I'm going to upload that for directly from within the post. So once the video is uploaded, we can type a description. Watch the following video. As an introduction to the next topic. If you put a video on yourself, then it also gives the option of uh, selecting the start and end points you'd like the students to be taken directly to. So you can, if you've got a really long video, you can pinpoint them to a specific part of it. Also, remember that with large videos, they won't be saved onto the student's iPad, so it's not taking up any actual space. They can just stream that directly from the Apple server. Again, so I can give that uh, a due date. and then you can save and it's done. So it now appears with these little symbols next to them saying that there is a material attached.